Hello my Taurus friends, it's Guiding Halo and this is going to be your love reading for June 22nd to June 29th. See what Taurus has got going on in the love department. Tauruses. We have Ten of Cups, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotions, emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. And we have the Six of Wands. Victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition or rewards. Beautiful. Very nice. Let's see if the reading stays this wonderful. That would be awesome. Let's see what's going on for my Taurus friends. All right. Ten of Cups energy. What's with that? How come we are also happy and contented at home? Beautiful. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Intuitive, passionate, creative. Beautiful. This is the kind of woman that walks down the street and people go, dang, what nice energy she has. Yeah, that's it. That's what they say. <laughs> hey, my Taurus friends. Oh, look at that. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Dang, not only do you have a contented and rewarding family life, you've got abundance to boot, don't you? Very nice, my Taurus friends. I can see you've been working on your pentacles. Oh, there's that tower moment. Oh, it's going to send you into hangman mode. You're concerned about nefarious nonsense that's coming into your contented and rewarding family life. You thought this was your ten of cups, so are you having a hard time trusting due to a tower moment? What's this tower about, please? We have a temporary pause in action. So maybe you've not heard from someone for a little while and it's making you feel like maybe there's cheating, lying, nefarious nonsense. Maybe something happened, a tower came in and you guys are all like ready to take a leap of faith and then bam, there's that tower and you're like, okay, time to get out while the getting's good. I'm just getting scared now. What's going on, Taurus friends? It's going to take great strength for you to deal with this temporary pause that's coming. Someone's going in to gain clarity. Is that you guys? Who's that going in to gain clarity? It could be your Queen of Wands. Maybe this Queen of Wands come in and found something out and assumed it to be something it wasn't. Moving away from rough waters to calm waters. Moving away from commitment. Maybe that's what that tower is about. Temporary pause here in a relationship, thinking it's over, but it may not be. And we have a celebration, or maybe someone thought there was a third party situation going on. Well, we got the Wheel of Fortune coming in here, my friends. The Divine is stepping into this scenario. Why is the Divine stepping in? Tell me, what happened? What was the foundation that was built that was faulty, and how is the Divine coming in now? For my Taurus friends, you have everything in your arsenal to manifest this. So I think the Divine is stepping in to show you that this commitment, this offer that's being offered to you that you're snubbing your nose at, it could be for the long term. You should take that leap of faith. And we have the Magician here, and you should be willing to put in that hard work. Maybe you're just going to focus on your work and maybe the divine came into, it was like magic and all of a sudden you found out something that you didn't know what's going on. Victory, good news is on its way, public recognition and reward. So it's the end of a phase and start of a new one. So that's what that tower is about. That's what the divine's doing. It's ending a phase for you and bringing you some new fresh energy. What's this new fresh energy about? Victory, good news is on its way. Conflict. Hmm. You're conflicted. There's communication that's going to happen. This new phase, it's going to create communication, which is going to lead to victory. And the divine is definitely stepping in to bring something back so it can be dealt with. Because I'm telling you right now, it was not dealt with. Someone tried to deal with it, possibly with you, but you sat there and you were like, nope, not happening. You know where the door is and don't let it hit you on the way out. That's truth, what I just said right there. Cutting out the BS in your life, are you, my Taurus friends? Maybe trying to focus on your own cup to fill and not listen to everybody else. Maybe you think that's where you'll have the biggest victory. Well, there's a very happy outcome here. Perhaps this is a new start with said person 
that there's been conflict with. There's your Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Sagittarius. I have a new financial offer on board. Oh, and a new start in knowledge. A new start in wisdom. This is something you can take with you for the long haul. A new start in how you view love. This is a very happy outcome. And this is an offer. Perhaps you guys are going to make someone an offer that takes you for the long term. Time to buckle down, get the work done. Brings you right to your nine of cups. This is beautiful. And your ten of cups. Something you thought was over and ended isn't. There's a lot of that going around right now. I wonder if it's this Sagittarius moon going on. And victory again. So yeah, you're definitely going to have victory in this situation. However you want to shake it. And a very happy outcome while you're at it. It's beautiful, my Taurus friends. Beautiful energy. Let's see what ties these two together. We've got Ten of Cups and a victory card. And a whole lot of water under the bridge, looks like. Seven of Wands. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. And we have the Hermit going inward. Spend quiet, quiet time alone. Spiritual teaching and self-discovery. So someone is on a mission to figure out what the Divine would like them to do about this scenario. They're on a mission to figure out where they've come from, what they've learned, and how they can possibly go forward with the healing that they've achieved. We have to help heal the situation, see other, other poor, yeah, the other person's point of view with compassion. Maybe you can't even find the words to say. They can't even come out of your mouth properly. And we have the Six of Pentacles. It's about equal reciprocity, equal give and take in the relationship. I want this. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want this. So you guys need to come to a decision. We got the Ten of Wands. It's too much work. You're going to put the burden down. We got the Page of Cups. Someone bring in an apology. The Sun card out again. We got a very happy outcome. Taking that leap of faith and then challenging information that comes in. One more card, please, to finish this off. The sun is right in the center of that whole thing right there. Look at that. The sun's right there. It's like in here. It's like it's like it's peeking out, just waiting at you. It's like, do you see there could be success here? Do you see it? And then we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's got to get in touch with their heart center and learn to speak it. Right there, my friends. I hope this resonates. Please leave a message and let me know if it does. Blessings.